Hey tribe, I'm about ready to transplant my garden eggs. These are white garden eggs that I started from seeds. I shared with you when I was starting these from seeds. If you have forgotten, I'm going to link the video, you can watch it. But they are absolutely ready for transplant and I have prepared where I am going to transplant them. Let me show you. So I'm going to transplant the garden eggs in these giant grow bags. These are fabric containers. They are 20 gallons of uh, each. So these are 20 gallon um, grow bags. The bigger, the better. You don't have to use 20 gallons. But I think anything from seven gallons up is going to be okay if you're growing your eggplants in containers. But again, the bigger, the better because these grow big. They grow like five foot tall, up to five foot tall. So you want the container to be big. If you want to see how I filled up these containers without spending a lot of money, I'm going to share with you. Watch to the end of the video to find out how you can fill these containers um, in an affordable way with potting mix soil. Okay, it's potting mix soil. That's another giant grow bag over there. This one has four compartments, each one 20 gallons in capacity. So these are my garden eggs, the African garden eggs. Okay. Again, they grow very big, so I tend to use a cage. So I'm going to use a cage like this one. I'll show you how I do it. That's one that I already planted earlier. But before you plant, it's always a good idea to make sure that you thoroughly water. I'm going to water first before I plant. All watered. Next will be to transplant. So this is how I'm transplanting, making a hole here, about the size of my container. And then I'm going to carefully remove this and put in here. Just watch how I do it. So I grab it like this. Well, this is my label. I'm gonna put that here. That's my label. And then I always slide my fingers like this and hold the soil down. Remember when transplanting, you don't wanna hold the stem. You just don't want to hold the stem because you risk damaging your plant. See that? Remove it like this. Flip it over. So we're handling just the root ball. And I'm steadying the plant with my plant with my hand like this. Then I'm gonna now put it in the hole. Soil level. See, it's at soil level. Then now I'm gonna just push. tribe i just wanted to give you an update on my garden eggs some are doing really well these are the white garden eggs from true love seeds i have them growing in bags over here in my tiny space that's the side of my building in these giant 20 gallon size grow bags these are doing well but these over here are being attacked by caterpillars. Look, just basically eating all of the leaves. Caterpillars. I had to, I had to trim the leaves, but it's, as you can see, basically all gone. They were all huge, like the other ones over there. I found a cool prick. I found the thing that has been chewing on the leaves of the garden eggs. Okay, it's right here. I'll show you. See, that is a caterpillar, a tent caterpillar. So you get one of these, you come back in the morning and the leaves are basically all gone. It just chews on the leaves like that. It is extremely destructive. 
So that is what has happened to this one, that one, and that, and all of like the four of them, caterpillars. I know they eventually turn into butterflies, but before they turn into butterflies, they can basically just destroy your hard work. See that? Yeah, see this. This is not good. It's not good at all. So I'm gonna figure out a way to deal with this. I'm going to physically remove the caterpillar. See, that is really bad. This is terrible. I smash it it's gonna be green inside and that's because of the greens it has been feeding on so your garden eggs are prone to caterpillars like this I'm not going to kill it I feel like smashing it but I'm just going to move it away I'm going to throw it over the fence yeah. let me show you what I am going to use this is Captain Jack's dead bug Bonite, that is the active ingredient, and it kills bagworms, borers, beetles, caterpillars, all of these insects that you see here. And it is safe for organic gardening, as you can see. So I'm going to use it to spray my, I'm going to use it to spray my garden eggs. I should actually spray the underside of the leaves as well. I hope I can save, I can save my plants that way. Hey tribe, so I found out later on that the thing I thought were caterpillars eating on my garden eggs were not actually caterpillars. They were what is referred to as um, army worms. Someone said they were army worms. They are extremely destructive. They can just wipe out your entire garden overnight if you're not careful. So they do come out like at night maybe early in the morning and feed on the leaves and as you saw they can take down the entire plant in just one day and if you get these in your garden it's not because you did something wrong the pests are out there also trying to get something to eat sometimes i let them be but when they are threatening to just take away all of my hard work then i have to figure out ways to control the pests so what I used yesterday might not actually work for those army worms. I have heard that they are very hard to get rid of. And what really works is BT. That's what somebody recommended. So I have placed an order on Amazon to get that BT pesticide and see if it helps with the army worm population that I might have back there. This one is still good. This one is still good. But those other ones, are the ones that you already saw, those are the ones that have a problem. So I'll keep you posted. If you do get pests in the garden, you did not do anything wrong. Just figure out what it is that you're dealing with and then figure out a solution. Thank you for watching. If you have dealt with this army worm in the garden, let me know what worked for you. Share in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. And until next time, we are still going to grow a garden so that we can grow our health. Bye-bye.